Hello everybody, how are you doing? If you are one of those guys who is indecisive about moving to Canada or Australia, this video might be for you. If you are not sure whether you should move out of your home country, you are living a wonderful life in your home country in India, Pakistan, UAE, but you are not sure if you should actually immigrate to a country like Canada or Australia, this video might be for you. I am not saying that by the end of this video you will be able to decide if you are going to immigrate or not but yes by the end of this video you'll have an idea of the thought process how you should think towards taking that decision so without further ado let's roll the intro okay i know it is such a hard decision to take whether you should immigrate to an alien country, whether you should actually leave your home country, whether you should leave your parents, your friends, um, your organization where you're working, whether you should leave all of that and move to a new country altogether. So many people ask me this question, is it actually worth moving to Australia or Canada? People get confused because they are living such a good life in their home country they wonder if they would get an even better life in, the, in a new country. Some people are getting really good salaries, they are working at good positions in the home country, they are driving the SUVs, but they wonder if is it if would actually be worth moving to Canada or not. Okay, now when it comes to deciding whether you should move or not, obviously it should be based on few factors, right? It should be based on the pros and cons of moving to Canada or Australia versus staying in your home country. So everything has got its pros and cons, right? Let's say you're moving to Canada. So there would be some pros, there would be some cons as well. Pros like uh, you'll get a good work-life balance, you'll get a neat, neat clean environment, you can see, no pollution. Uh, you'll get good international exposure, you'll get to work with people from all around the world you can get a citizenship very easily and uh, of course you can travel to the world uh, with the Canadian passport very easily after a few years you could be earning really well so these can be some of the pros of uh, living in Canada or immigrating to Canada now if uh, let's say let's talk about the cons as well right there can be cons like uh, you might not get a job very easily you might be working in a really good position in your home country but you have to start from the scratch uh, when you come over here in Canada. It might be a case that you don't get the job which you're actually expecting, you don't get the salary which you were actually expecting. It might be a case that uh, you don't enjoy the winters, it's very harsh over here so it, you might not enjoy the winters, right? It might be a case that uh, of course you're, you're you're far from your family as well so that is another very important point where you're far from your family and friends for so long it's not possible trust me it's not possible to go back to your home country if you're living in you know in some part of asia it's definitely not possible to go every alternate month even you know people go every uh, once in six months or maybe once in an year so that is the case okay now these were the some of the pros and the cons of uh, living and uh, working in Canada. Of course there would be some pros and cons of uh, living and working in your home country as well. So of course living and working in your home country has his own advantages and its disadvantages as well. Some of the advantages can be that uh, of course you are well settled over there, you don't have to find another job, you don't have to find another home. You don't have to sell your furniture, your car to move to a new new place. Some of the uh, advantages of the pros can be that you are living with your family, with your friends. You get to enjoy the uh, festivals, local festivals. You get to enjoy uh, some special moments with your family. So, and also you might be earning really good. And this question comes to your mind that if I'm earning earning really good, why should I actually immigrate? Is it actually worth it? So this is these are the some of the advantages or the pros. If you talk about the disadvantages, uh, of course it can be that uh, let's say you're living in Delhi. We know how hard it is to live and breathe in Delhi. It's so polluted. 
maybe uh, you're working in IT industry and uh, you're struggling to find uh, good growth in your, in your home country. That is not just about IT, it might be about any other industry as well, right? It, there can be uh, many other cons as well. Uh, you might not be happy with uh, whatever situation you are at the moment. You might not be uh, very happy with uh, the political environment. You might not be very happy with uh, with anything in your life, in your country to be specific. So these can be uh, some of the reasons why you would actually think of immigrating uh, to Canada. And of course, these are some of the disadvantages which makes you think that you want to immigrate uh, to another country. Okay, now coming to the point how you should decide whether you should move or not. You should weigh the pros of moving to Canada versus the pros of living in your home country. You should weigh the cons of moving to Canada versus the cons of living and staying in your home country. Of course, when I say that, don't just think of the current time. Think of the future, five years, 10 years ahead of you. How it's gonna be five years down the line in your home country, how your life is gonna be uh, 10 years down the line, how you actually imagine it to be if you're still living in your home country. Do you actually imagine to prosper? Do you actually imagine to gain a lot of wealth in your, in your, if you're staying in your home country? If the answer is yes, you might stay back in your home country. Of course, there's an emotional bonding with your family and friends as well, right? This is a very important factor as well. So, there might be some people whose parents are uh, really old. They're not, they cannot travel. So, how are they gonna come to you? How are they gonna visit you frequently? Think about that. There might be a case that uh, you have young uh, siblings. So, if you come to Canada, not even your future, but yes, you'll pave a way for their future as well, for their bright future as well. I know it becomes really difficult to take the decision whether you should move or not. Once you've taken that decision, there's no going back because you've invested so much time, so much effort, so much money into, um, into getting the permanent residency of a country. And uh, once you've taken that step, there's no step, there's no moving back. Uh, so take your decision wisely, take your time, don't hurry. But once you have decided that you want to immigrate, I would suggest that go for it immediately. Don't waste any more time. What people do is people waste so much time thinking that we will go for IELTS, we will get our WES done, uh, our ECA done. So they waste so much time. And then uh, I've seen people uh, there at 448, 449, 450. Now they're waiting for uh, the CRS draw to come at 450. It was 440 a couple of months ago. And now they're waiting at 450 because they wasted one or one and a half, two months, and now they are being punished for that, for wasting that time. So once you've decided that you actually want to immigrate, go for it straight away with your full, with full heart and full dedication. So I just hope that now at least you would have a little idea of uh, how you should decide whether you should move to Canada or Australia. I'm really sorry, I always quote Canada in all of my sentences because I'm here. Um, but yes, it's very important to decide it very early. Take your time, one month, two months, but when you've decided, go for it straight away. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you really liked the video, please click the thumbs up button. And yes, if uh, you didn't like the video, don't forget to click the thumbs down button as well. Also, please comment what your thoughts are, how you decided that you want to immigrate. What are your reasons behind leaving your home country or staying back in your home country. Thanks again for watching this video. And yes, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video.